Well, this is the drill drop. Let's look at the operations. Good luck. Ah, oh, so cool. So cool. They're not even trained. They're just winging this. This is amazing. Down they go. There's just, just no wing. They don't even have wings. They parachute only. <laughs> yeah, so I wonder, like, are, are all the cadets trained on this? They just... Right? No way. This is such a difficult operation. And such a rare operation. Why, why would you train your cadets? Be like, if you ever have to ODST, you ever have to <laughs> yeah, know, right? drop. High altitude, wait, high altitude, low opening. If you ever have to do that, like, yeah. get ready. Also, does the physics of this make sense? Because if you're in orbit, then you're moving at orbital speed, which means as soon as you start entering the atmosphere, you're going to burn up. But it looks like they just oh. drop. They're not actually in orbit. Do we know the mass? Do we know what the atmosphere is like for Vulcan? Because I, I can imagine if, it, if the atmosphere is really thin, then would you get enough friction to burn up? I mean, on Earth, you start to burn up really, really high up there. Oh, there, so the atmosphere yeah. is thick. Okay, I, I got to flip it. If the atmosphere is really thick, would you burn up? I think that just means you burn up at a higher altitude. But where the, I guess you start burning up when the, where the atmosphere is like way thin compared to the surface of the Earth, mm. I think. And so thick well, atmosphere, I guess, thin I guess atmosphere. the key thing is... I guess the key thing is your your speed relative to the gas density because you need what is the burning up? It's gas is hitting you and depositing kinetic energy into you, and then you're getting overheated. That's right. So if you're moving at orbital speed, the gas density that that causes burn up mm -hmm. is actually fairly low. Very thin. I see. I see. Um, but they do go far enough into the atmosphere that they can breathe when they're on the platform. So they definitely transitioned to a thick enough atmosphere. They should have burnt up somewhere here. Which I think means they're actually not in orbit. They're just sitting there. They're actually not in orbit. They're just sitting above the planet. Um, and it's probably not geostationary orbit because that would be just this narrow window of orbits. I but, think it means they just have the tech to hover. Sorry, sorry. So there's too many groups of people here because I think the drill is in geosynchronous orbit otherwise this thing would be getting dragged across the surface right like it, it's it, it's pointing at one spot so i think if it's not connected to the ground you're gonna get the orbital speed at the bottom of the drill is different than the orbital speed at the top of the drill it's true and i think you get problems also i think orbital uh was it geosynchronous orbit on Earth is like 20,000 kilometers up or something absurd? Okay. I don't think the drill is that long. If assuming Vulcan is Earth-ish. I have no idea. So assuming it's Earth-ish, I don't think the drill is 20,000 kilometers long. So I think that I think they're just hovering. And they're like they're like using thrusters to to stay above they, they meaning the, the drill. Planet. I think everybody or, or in this situation. Ship, everyone. Okay. Everyone. Enterprise, the shuttle, the, the mining ship, they're hovering above Vulcan and using okay. thrusters to hold against gravity, hmm. right? Otherwise they'd burn up. Otherwise this drill would have kind of weird movements. Weird wobbly stuff instead of it's, it's just nice and straight. Nice and, and it can just hold itself under tension, meaning it's just dropping hmm. straight down. Hmm. hmm. So they're not in orbit. They're just hovering. I think it has to be the conclusion. I guess That'll... I'm okay with that as long as the ships can do it. Sure, sure. I think I think they can. Right? They have so much technology. Why not? Yeah, I mean, if, yeah, I mean, they can fly these gigantic ships off the ground. Like they, they've got some technology, yeah. I guess. And I guess that also explains why they didn't burn up because they're truly just dropping from zero mm. speed, and they speed up to maybe they don't have all this like tangential velocity. Yeah, they just yeah, they're they're above and they just fall. Yeah, I guess if you fall slowly enough, then you don't burn up. I guess what would you, you would hit terminal velocity at for whatever density you're talking about and never reach a sufficient velocity to burn up. Is that true? It Could really you... comes down to the details, I guess, I'm, I'm guessing. Gosh, we could do a calculation for this. You could create some realistic 
atmospheric pressure drop off? Could you pick up mm -hmm. enough speed through the low density regions to burn up in the in the lower regions where it's higher pressure? My instincts wants to say no, but I don't know. You're saying you're saying that you would, you're saying that you wouldn't be able to have enough speed to travel in the high density gas and get so much friction that you burn up. You're saying that the drag would be large enough that you wouldn't get that fast. I think like so. You'd, you'd reach terminal velocity. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe do <laughs> calculations. Maybe some different drop heights. Figure it out. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. We could. I mean, not right now, but maybe <laughs> maybe on SS Science. Oh, good point. That's right. 